into the wild. I'm going out into nature today to get a good workout in. I woke up today and I was like, I always, 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 always work out at home. It's just my comfort thing. But lately I've been liking like switching it up, going running, working out in the garage. And I'm taking the next step today and I'm going out to a park. I'm gonna go jump rope. I have my jump rope right here. Take my yoga mat and maybe do like a quick little, maybe Lily Savory, maybe a Chloe Ting workout out there. Yeah, I'm just gonna have my comfort zone today. When I was in the best shape of my life, guys, I used to work out outside all the time. Like I switched it up all the time. I was in the gym, going to boot camp, Pilates. I would work out outside. I would film my workouts. I would work out inside and do all of the programs I used to do early on in my channels. I switched it up. And I think that's what kept me like on a straight and narrow path of my fitness journey. And I wanna wake up and be excited about like my workouts and like what I'm doing for the day and how I'm staying active and whatnot. So that's why we're doing this today. I'm super excited, I'm pumped. I have so much anxiety about like going out and you know, being at a park and putting down my yoga mat. But like, you know what? We're doing it. No anxiety, we're, we've gotta stop. We've got to stop being anxious in 2022. We're done, we're over it, we're over it. Let's go, and let's go. <laughs> Breaks your little heart in my What should we do tonight? Let's just find out Pretty blue jeans and me Running through evergreen Pretty blue jeans and me Yeah, she's what I need So I'm done with my workout. It was literally so much fun. Like, I am so happy that I came out here, first of all. Like, I was super nervous about coming out here at first because I was like, ah, being by myself and then having to find a spot. That just gave me so much anxiety. And I was supposed to go over there to a different location to work out, but there was like a festival over there and there's a whole bunch of like food trucks and something going on. So I was like, okay, I can't work out over there. So let me improvise. And I found this spot and I think this is even better than where I was gonna actually originally go, which is nice. This is nice. I feel good, I feel happy. And you know, getting out of our comfort zones in 2022. Probably should have worn sunscreen though. My foundation is not gonna match me after being out here for an hour. Like it's literally been an hour, but it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just so happy I did this and I'm gonna be coming out here way more often I'm gonna try to go like different spots when I come out here though because this was a lot of fun And like I did a Chloe Ting workout 2019 shred videos and it was just so nostalgic. It took us back to like, you know quarantine season one <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it was just a great time. So I'm definitely gonna be doing this again. Next time I'm gonna be wearing sunscreen. Of course, gotta wear the sunscreen. We are gonna be hot girls this summer, okay? We're stepping out of our comfort zone in 2022 and we're making it happen. Whatever that is for you, we're making it happen, okay? Okay, all right, well, let's go for all. <laughs> home now today was great man i feel so good i was out for a minute it's 3 40 now i stopped at target to mainly get some like cleaning supplies and some trash bags and stuff there's a hair on my face that just will not 
give. Oh, there it goes. I'm gonna make myself a little snack. I think I'm gonna make myself some guacamole, which sounds super good. It was so, 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 so hard for me not to stop and get something. Like, I wanted to stop at Chick-fil-A. As soon as I saw Chick-fil-A, I was like, mmm. And then I like saw Torchy's tacos, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I want it all, but like I just was like discipline stay disciplined You got to stay disciplined and I ended up skipping out on everything. I didn't even grab a snack at Target like who is it? Just made me think back to this comment. I forget who left this comment I should have checked it before coming on here, but anyway I'm gonna put the comment right here one of you guys commented on one of my recent videos Just basically talking about how you've been on like the struggle bus when it comes to your weight loss journey and like I could not relate more to that comment primarily because like when you're on that struggle bus it's so hard to get off of it it is so hard like when you're like wrapped up in the bad habits not like the healthier habits. and I hate to say bad because it's not bad but like when you're wrapped up into it when you're having like cheat days multiple days a week cuz like guys this was literally me a month ago a month ago I was like eating out, me and Michael were eating Torchy's tacos three times a week, you couldn't tell us nothing. We were eating Chick-fil-A late at night, like we'd be like, uh, we didn't eat all day, let's just go get Chick-fil-A at 9 p.m., like right before they closed. And we did a lot of that stuff. Over time, I was just like in this bloated state all the time. Did not think I was gonna be able to get out of that cycle because like when you're in it, guys, you're in it, right? Healthy life does not seem appealing to you when you're on that struggle bus. I just wanna say, like, if you are on that struggle bus, I know it's hard, but, like, you can do it. For me, personally, it did take my wedding for me to, like, get into, like, workout mode and health mode and lose all this weight so far. But it took me that weekend that Michael went to Vegas. So it took me about five days to break those habits. And once I, like, was stayed, like, really disciplined, in those five days, all the cravings started leaving and we're here. All you have to do is start, guys, and stay disciplined and it turns into a habit so fast, I promise you. It just turns into your everyday life. I just wanna say that real quick before I made this guacamole because I understand the struggle bus, I've been on the struggle bus. If you're on the struggle bus, let's get off of the struggle bus together. I got you, I'm here for you, okay? So yeah, let's make this guacamole, yes! <laughs> This is the best guacamole I have made to date, okay? This slaps, okay? I don't know what I just did. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to do this again, but let me tell you exactly how I did it, okay? So you can come and recreate this, because this is so, the flavors, man, the flavors. One and a half avocados, onions, jalapenos, lime juice. <laughs> Cajun seasoning, pepper. Don't skip out on the Cajun seasoning, don't skip out on the lime juice. It just brings it all together. Don't skip out on it. Mm. Mm. Such a great treat, man. I was at the store and I was trying to find some healthy chips to go along with my guac, because I knew I was gonna make guac today. It was so hard for me to find chips that were low in sodium. I don't know if this is an American thing, but a lot of our products are really high in sodium, and I don't get why? So I went to the Siete brand, because I love the Siete brand. Even their chips, they're like tortilla chips that are like paleo, gluten-free, whatever, grain-free. Even those Siete brand chips were really high in sodium. So I was like, uh, I'm just gonna keep looking. And I found these Central Market tortilla chips, and they're made with red quinoa and flax seeds, and the sodium content is only 40 milligrams which this was the only like bag of chips that are like tortilla style chips that were like low in sodium and carbs and calories. 
So yeah, make sure you guys are actually reading the macros on things because you just never know. Some things are marketed as super healthy and they're not healthy, which that like is just such a mind trip. Like, why can't we just have healthy things? Like, why are y'all trying to trick us? That's annoying. I think it tastes close enough to a tortilla chip without having to, you know, ruin the integrity of your fitness journey. So, these are the Central Market tortilla chips. Cause I think that I've been falling ever since that day out in the park. And I don't know. ultimatum on Netflix. I'm almost done with it. This show is something else, okay? This show is something else, but like it takes me back to that time when I was like 24, 23, 24. No relationships perfect. Relationships at that age are always, not always, but relationships at that age are almost always tumultuous. Tumultuous. Now, Michael and I have been together since we were like 21, 22, so it has not always been blissful, honey. <laughs> Let me just say that. Yeah, this show is very interesting, but you know, it's a hot mess, and everyone's talking about how much of a hot mess it is, but like, I'm not gonna lie, we've all been hot messes, okay? Let's not let's not lie. There's a light at the end of the tunnel though. We don't stand for toxicity anymore. Not over here, okay? We've learned how to communicate, we've learned how to share our emotions, we've learned how to connect. And yeah, that takes time. But obviously when you're younger, you gotta go through those growing pains. But yeah, let me know if y'all watch the ultimatum, because <laughs> it's it's a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't stop watching and I'm almost done with it. Yeah, I can't wait to see how everything ends up. I actually really like Shanique and Zay. Am I toxic for that? They are cute together, but anyway, I'm going to stay in my non-toxic lane, okay? <laughs> Home and I'm about to make dinner. It is almost seven o'clock, and I'm gonna try to make dinner and eat before it gets too late. I do want to talk about two things that have changed my body and mind in the last month. The two most important things: intermittent fasting and intuitive eating. Now we all know what intermittent fasting is at this point. It's cutting yourself off from food at a certain time. I don't know what it is about intermittent fasting, but it helps so much. Not overeating or snacking too late at night right before you're going to bed so i really 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 try my hardest not to do that i try to drink as much water before bed as possible to help curb those cravings because we all have cravings at night okay it's, it's just natural it's hard not to have cravings at night and number two is intuitive eating. Only eating when I'm hungry, not when I'm bored. The day I had breakfast, I had a light breakfast, I had a snack, and I'm about to make myself some dinner. Some people may think that's not a lot of food, but I just wasn't that hungry today. Sometimes I'll try to eat a little light lunch, and sometimes I won't get to lunch. Yeah, I was out today. I was just super busy, and when you keep yourself busy, you tend to like not end up bored eating. <laughs> Being as active as possible today was so much fun, going outside and getting a good workout in. I was just looking at those clips, and I realized that all of the like actual like workout portion that I filmed was all out of focus, all blurry, but I was in my own zone. Like I, I'm not even mad about it, because I was just out there having a good time. It took me a long to walk just now. I think it's so important to get that girl out 
and walking and get her steps in. She looks a lot more healthier these days. The vet told us we needed to like decrease her the amount of food that we give her, her a little bit more exercise. So we've been doing that and I've just seen a big change in her. She used to limp a lot and now she's not limping anymore. Thank God, I was so nervous and she was limping on her back leg because she was just overweight which is so sad which is so sad but now she's not limping anymore she's definitely slimmed down a lot and i'm very proud of us for like putting our dog's health first she's on a health journey too she's on a health journey too i like being outside a lot especially because the weather is so nice however there's been some weird things happening in our neighborhood we have a lot of like ugh, i don't know a lot of really sketch activity going on so it just makes me a little bit more nervous that's why i don't even bring out my camera while i'm walking i just make sure when i'm out there walking and running i just make sure to stay alert and make sure you're staying alert when you're out and about whether it's walking or running make sure you're just always paying attention because there are not nice people out here in the world. So let's do a ginger shot because I'm not making a smoothie. I know you guys are probably so tired of my smoothies. <laughs> I just love making them. I love smoothies. They make me so happy. But instead of a smoothie, we're gonna do a Vibe Organic Immunity Boost shot. This is a ginger and turmeric shot. Ooh. I love that for me. Turmeric, ginger, black pepper, echinacea root flower. <laughs> it's a good little wellness shot, so let's take one together. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Mm. Here's to health. Here's to wealth. <laughs> It's a little spicy. We're gonna start dinner, I'm gonna finish the ultimatum because I'm on the reunion episode. <laughs> And it's gotten crazy. Side note, okay, I haven't talked about the wedding in so long. I don't wanna like, you know, annoy y'all with wedding talk, but one thing that I'm so glad we got to keep from the wedding are these small vases that they used as our centerpieces. They're so perfect and we have four of them. So we're gonna be able to like, you know, make our own floral arrangements this summer, which is gonna be beautiful and I can like, recreate our wedding flowers and like make other cute little floral arrangements and stuff like that which is so cute so i have four of these i don't know i have like two really tall vases but i've never had like cute short vases so these are gonna be so perfect <laughs> on the last month of like going on my bachelorette and wedding planning and like our wedding, like all that happened like a month ago. I am a completely different person than I was when I was wedding planning. Like, and it's only been like three weeks since we've been married. All of the stress is gone, all of like the anxiety, like worrying about whether this is coming and this is coming and this is coming. It's like all of that is gone. And I didn't realize like how happy I was until I started like editing all of these videos from like post wedding. I love that for me. I love that so much for me because man, wedding planning will drive you crazy. Like I don't even re recognize who I was a month ago. I was always so annoyed, always so stressed. I was letting little stupid things stress me out that like literally like aren't even stressing me out, like aren't even a bother anymore to me. Like. I am just so happy that it's over. Like, I'm so happy to be married. Finally, be able to call Michael my husband, my hubby. He's like the best hubby 
ever. I mean, I know it's only been three weeks, but he is. He's amazing. We've just been enjoying wedding life. We've just been, wedding life. We've just, <laughs> we've just been enjoying married life so much. And I am just so grateful to not be planning a wedding anymore. That's all I gotta say. Cause I'm just a different person. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. Cause that was the most stressful thing ever. I was having, I never even talked about this in the vlogs. I was literally having nightmares that my wedding was gonna go wrong. Like I was having, nightmares that like we forgot to book an officiant like we didn't have someone to marry us on the day of the wedding we forgot our vow books we forgot like there's just so many different things that were happening i was having bad dreams literally like months before the wedding like i just you can have it i do not miss that i don't uh-uh you can have that stress man uh-uh i can't wait for our wedding video to come in it hasn't come in yet mm -mm. Mm. Yeah guys, I'm gonna finish this and talk to you guys in a little bit. So I just wanted to come on here and show you guys how I'm looking and how I'm feeling the next day. So it is April 15th, it's 10 a.m. First and foremost, I woke up feeling so good this morning. Like, don't mind my hair by the way. But yeah, I woke up feeling so good this morning. Not sluggish, not bloated, not anxious. Just feeling really, really, really good. Uh, yeah, this is my side profile. This is me relaxed. You see? This is me relaxed, not flexed, not posed. This is me posed. Very, 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 very good about my progress so far. Yeah, so I feel so good about my progress so far. Still working at these goals, not laying down. I had a conversation with Michael this morning and I was like, I really do not want to have as many cheat days on the weekend. We had like ramen tatsuya, which is like a ramen spot. And that's like a lot of sodium. And like, what else did we eat this weekend? Oh, we went to the store and bought a whole bunch of candy one day. It was just like, you know, movie theater candy. But I told him if we're gonna have a cheat day this weekend, I want it to be literally one day. I don't want it to be like Sunday and Tuesday and Thursday, you know? Like I really want to like really stay strict on my goals this week because I'm loving, I'm loving my progress so far, but I find that every single time, and I mean every single time I take a couple steps forward, I'm always taking a couple steps back, and then it's like forward and back, and then forward and back, and I could be further along if I wasn't, you know, having multiple cheat days in a week, so. It's all about being disciplined and setting goals for yourself and actually sticking to those goals that you set because you can reach these goals but you just have to just be disciplined. I mean, I'm at this point where if Michael wants to go have a drink, I don't feel jealous. I don't feel like I have to get a drink because he's drinking. When I feel like I need to drink water, I'm sticking to water and all that good stuff. Um, I'm loving sharing my progress with you guys. It's actually keeping me super motivated. Thank you so much for all of your encouragement. Like, I don't say this enough, but like you guys are actually like literally what's keeping me going. Like all of the sweet comments of you guys just saying, keep going, keep doing it, keep going. Really, 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 really like hypes me up. It makes me like, okay, I gotta keep going. I, I gotta keep going. So yeah, it's really encouraging. So thank you for being great. And thank you for all the advice. I had a really good comment on my last video that was basically like, you need to eat more carbs because of how much you work out. And that was very true. So I'm gonna take that comment and run with it. I'm gonna start increasing my carbs a little bit more because there's no need to be afraid of carbs. And there's no need for me to be like trying to lose a whole bunch of weight like in one week. It's a marathon now, but I'm still going to be like staying true, try and true with all of these values that I'm setting and all these goals that I'm setting. I'm gonna be filming again today. So <laughs> we're gonna keep this going. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Mwah.